back here again? Uh, the last time I've been here, I, I was with God of War. But the strangest, but the strangest thing was, it was able to speak with me, which is something that I need to get used to. But all in all, it's good to be here again. Is that a little, is that a little child? Hey, hey, don't be afraid. I'm not here to cause any harm. I'm pretty new here. came here to this place and this isn't my first time being here. Oh, well, what is this place? I think it's a pretty, I think it's a mystic forest or something like, like that. Oh. Huh. Well, it's definitely mystic. I mean, there's so many big, big flowers on these trees here. Yep. Anyway, I, I haven't gotten your name. What is it? Oh, uh, mm, oh my name's Yana. What's your name, sir? I'm Superior the Hedge Fox, the Elemental Guardian. Elemental Guardian? Interesting. Huh, never heard of that before. <laughs> well, nice yeah. to meet you, Mr. Superior. Nice to meet you too, Yuna. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> but... Yeah, but what so... brought you by here today? Well, I just came here since I've I've been in this place before, and I was with my very own Pokemon, God of War. Wait, there are more Pokemon out there? Well, I have my well, I have my very first Pokemon, and it was a God of War. I found it I found it oh. while it was stranded in a in a forest at night, and I managed to save it with my powers. Interesting. <laughs> well, for me, the only Pokemon I ever known of is a Celebi. A Celebi? Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, she. Well, let's just say, in a way, she had helped me out with the bad situations, but. That was about to happen, but she managed to get me out of there in time. So, a lot of people seem very drawn to her because I know someone called her a shiny Celebi. A shiny? From what I'm not aware mm -hmm. of, I think that is very rare. I think. Hmm. That uh, probably does explain why Mr. Draco freaked out when he saw her. Who's Draco? Is he the one? Is he the one that uh, you're familiar with? Uh, yeah, he's a friend. He's a friend of mine. He's a dragoon. Uh, but however, he also can turn into a werewolf. But he's very friendly though when he's not grumpy. <laughs> mm, I, I wish I could meet. New, I wish I could meet him, and and, and the other people that I that I wish to meet. Mm. Yeah. There are moments where I wanted me able to meet new people too, but it's kind of hard to do so since, well, I did come from a place where, well, people don't really like me because of what I am. What? What, what, do, you, what do you mean? <clears throat> well, from where I had come from, apparently a lot of people don't like the fact that I'm part fallen angel and part fox. I mean, I mean, look at me. I'm part hedgehog, part fox, and I haven't unlocked my angelic ability and angelic abilities yet. Hmm. I have elemental powers with well, me, so. <laughs> well, I don't see anything wrong with you. I mean, I've met a couple of hedge foxes already. Hmm. I bet it. W I bet it was. 
I bet it was chilled, lavender, and some others that I've seen. I know a Mr. Chilled. I don't know who this lavender is, but I did meet one called Tommy. Oh, you met Tommy? I think Lavender has told me about him before. Oh, did she mention that about him knowing about cars? You can say that, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, but, well, I don't know if I should say this, though. I don't want to scare someone. Um. What do you mean? Just promise... Okay, well... You promise you won't tell anyone, because I just found this out recently, after a little bit more clarification from Celebi. I'm... I'm not from this timeline. Oh. I'm from 1,000 years ago, and, well, I know Celebi has time powers, so she used that to get me out of the danger that was approaching. Turned out this danger wasn't also from the same timeline as I'm from. A so, with how... A thousand years? Wait, that's the same timeline where I'm from. My, <laughs> from, what, from, from, from where I'm from, my place dates back a thousand years ago. And I'm still living to this day. Huh. Despite me being thousands of years old. <laughs> well, funnily enough, I'm only 515. 515? Yeah. Though, however, from what I heard from someone, I have the appearance of a five-year-old mortal. Oh, that makes sense. But still. <laughs> mm-hmm. You, I think you're yeah, much. I think you're much older than me. Way, way, way older than me. Oh, how old are you? Are you then? One hundred, two hundred? Hmm. <laughs> One thousand. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yep. Been living for a millennium. So, oh, so that's kind of weird because the time that I had. I have moved over to present day, to this timeline. You were born. Hmm. Yes, I was born. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So I guess that. So I guess it does make you the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, unlike yeah, unlike this timeline here, I'm not used to seeing you know, big. Uh, what do you call it? Big technological stuff, so some of the stuff is still kind of new to me, and ah, I had no idea what a Pokemon was until uh, I met Celebi. Ah, oh, technological. Yeah. I'm still Guess getting... you're not a big fan of it? Well, no, but I'm still getting used to the whole te I'm still getting used to it. For, like, I have this, for example, on my wrist. Oh? Ah. Oh. Interesting. Thing. It has a clock and a talk button there. Yep. This it was given to oh. me by a friend by some friends of mine that I've been going that I've been meeting in my discovery. One was got one oh. was someone named Terra, another was Cookie, and the one that has a Miss Cookie? Huh? Oh, you met Cookie before? You know uh-huh, is she a little- is she an- is she an otter with, uh, glasses, and whenever you eat a uh, cookie, she says, why do you eat my kind? Correct the mundo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, who else did you meet? Hmm. Well, I did meet... I did meet Alex, A.G. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I did meet, and I did meet a, a good, a good friend named Blue Star. Ah, oh, Mr. Blue Star. <laughs> yeah, I think I, yeah, I know most of them there. I haven't met this Terra person, but I did meet Miss Cookie, Miss Agey, Mr. Alex, and Mr. Blue Star. And in fact, yeah. well, when I first popped up here, he was one of the first people I met. There was actually a big group that I ran into when I first came to this timeline, but yeah, he was one of the very first people. 
But aside from that, I never met someone who was part fox and a fallen angel before. Despite me being part angel and elemental guardian. Mm. Well, part fallen angel to be more precise, especially with, well... If you ask, why my dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but... Me, I mean, yeah, definitely met all kinds of people here. I've met... Well, pretty much I've met some some of the people you've already met. I've also met Mr. Draco I mentioned, his wife Miss Barry, uh, Mr. Sonic. Some of them call him Legendary Sonic, though, for some odd reason. Mr. Ben, Mr. Mike. Let's see. Who else? Let's see. I've also met Miss Zoe. Um. Let's see. Mr. Tommy. Mr. Mordred. See, and oh uh, yeah, and then also I met a counterpart of uh, Mr. Blue Stars. <sighs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I think I've gotten to a counter with that guy. Is he? Is he a red? Is he? A, is he a red dog that tends to look like that? He could have uh, come out of um, out of the blood pool. Yes, that is exactly him. The trick. He, mm. he triggered me. He triggered me to no end. He triggered you. Well, that's kind of weird, cause uh, well, no. if I got the word trigger right, I think I may be the one that triggered him. <laughs> no, what I mean by triggered, I mean annoying the living heck, the li annoying the, the living bejeebers out of me. Oof. <laughs> well, um... It's the, it's the whole, it's the whole anti-feeling thing. It's something that, that I've always frustrated about. Every time I've mentioned that, yeah, it I've... just annoys my mind, you know? Yeah, I get it. So far... I met two, maybe three antis, because Mr. Mordred almost looked like Mr. Draco, but Mr. Mordred seemed calmer and had an icy aura to him. But he didn't cause any harm. There's one called Mr. Vortex that almost looked like Alex. He can be a bit grumpy, he has a very bad potty mouth, but he didn't hurt me. And then... what Mr. Bloodstar. Well... I... me and Selby had to fight him. But I caused injury to him. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> just seeing, just seeing him, just seeing him going, just seeing him going through pain satisfies me. Mm. Well, you want to know a secret if you have to deal with him again? What is it? Use loud noises. Oh. <laughs> That, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I had to use, I used my voice then. I used a little bit of the song technique I've been taught, and, well, it worked, and I may have broken his eardrums. <laughs> mm, maybe you should teach me that song technique, since if it's able enough to ruin his eardrums when I encounter him again. Mm. Oh, I can teach you right now if you want. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, so... Alright, so, okay. Well, use this tree, tree here. Hopefully it won't be destroyed, so... Technically, in order to do so, you need to concentrate on... Pretty much, pretty much, since it is a song technique, you can concentrate on just, like, one note that you are comfortable with. But you also got to let it out real loud. But try not to use... Focus on the voice, rather. Focus on the heart. I've learned, I've, and learned, then I've, when... learned, I've learned that before, focusing on my own heart. <laughs> Once you get the heart focus, also focus on who your target is. Take a big deep breath, like this. And then do this. Holy Inferno, that was amazing. Even though it didn't affect my eardrums, <laughs> thank yeah. I, apparently my ears oh, are that's good. <laughs> apparently my ears are immune to the to the song screamers or what's it called. 
think... Yeah, I don't know why I call it that. Probably... Ex extreme lap... Extreme lap song, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but, or... You should, maybe you should call yeah, it... Yeah, but usually... Or, maybe you should call it ex Extreme Piercing Scream. Okay. And, sure. you know, and then after you... And then when you first try it out, you might feel a little tired, or your voice might hurt a little bit afterwards, but when you get used to it, pretty much it becomes like a bit of a back, like a bit of a backup plan in case if anything that you try upon your enemy, it doesn't work out too well, because I already tried, I already tried using my sword, I, I got some wounds on him, but he didn't really falter until I had to use uh, the voice and then that made him stumble and freak out. But when you do that and if you and if it makes your if it makes your uh, uh, your enemy a little dizzy or disoriented, I think that's what it's called, then you can go in for the attack. Huh. What star freaked out? What up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll I'll give it a try. Okay, so remember. Focus on your heart. Focus on the target. Take a big deep breath. And go. Yeah. That was actually pretty good. Yes, but it's gonna it's gonna it's a work in progress, but I'm not I'm not a very good singer. I mean, AG is, I mean, my sister AG is, but I, I still have yet to learn. Yeah, I know Miss AG is a good singer. Maybe, maybe she can teach you how to sing, sing at a normal rate, and then you can be able to use what I showed you to be able to make it much more powerful. Yes, and I'm going to save it until I, I encounter Bloodstar again, because I owe him a second round. <laughs> Tell him I said hi to. <laughs> All right. You know, you're you're, you're pretty adorable. Mm. Oh, I'm not adorable. No, no, no. I mean, by, Mr. Superior. I mean, by the looks of it, you are you are an adorable being. Oh, being. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a being. I'm part fox. I already told you that. Boop. <laughs> I'm part fox too, but I'm also a hedgehog. Hmm. <laughs> and since you're younger than me, technically, that makes you the bean. <laughs> but I'm still, but I'm still an adult. Hmm. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. There, there. There, there. <laughs> okay, I'll stop petting you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> You're pretty nice too, Mrs. Superior. Yeah, I was, I was born to be. I was born to be very calm and very and good natured and wise. And very fluffy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but any. Oh. Oh? Okay, why is the phone buzzing here? Hmm? Oh, you gotta go. Yeah, so I just got a text message, I think it's what it's called. There's... Apparently I've been told I need to... I need to head on back home. It's almost dinner time. It's best that... It's best that you do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, hey, and you, you have safe travels to... home too, hmm? I mean, if you want... If you want... If you want me to... How, how can I put this? If you want me to at least babysit you for a bit, I, I don't mind. If, if, I, if it's okay mm. with you. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'll let, I'll let you know if need be. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I haven't been bab I haven't babysit someone before, but since you're here, this may be my first time. <laughs> yeah, well, I could be able to manage myself, but usually it's best that I have I do have a grown up around so that way people don't freak out about a little kid running around. Yeah. And rem and remember it doesn't matter if you're if you're if you're part angel or part fox. What matters is that mm. you are who you are who you are, and you're very unique. And you're very unique. 
And don't let those people and don't let <laughs> and don't those people turn you down like that. You have mm -hmm. the right you have the right you to got be, it. you have the right to be unique and and you are just so cute. I <laughs> 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 wish I could remember that. Yeah, just follow my, yeah, just follow my advice and you'll be more um unique or yeah. <laughs> I can't find the right words, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, uh I'm glad you're going, but it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. <laughs> I'll give you a tiny hug. Oh, oh <laughs> lucky hug. Hug. <laughs> I'm gonna get the bugs. <laughs> Alright, All right. I'll, I'll see you later. Alright, stay safe. You too. What an adorable kid. <laughs> well, it's time for me to head out. Elemental control. <laughs>